Hello, Wonder Hussy here on a beautiful, blustery late March day. It's springtime in Death Valley, USA. That's right, the lowest point in the Western Hemisphere is right over yonder, Badwater Basin, 282 feet below sea level. <laughs> Been there, I made a video. You can check that out if you're interested. Anyway, I'm here today going for a little hike. That's right, I need some exercise. Uh, I also need to try out this new hiking skirt someone sent me. Uh, I've never hiked in a skirt before, but apparently it's very comfortable and uh, very breathable, if you know what I mean. Which is a good thing because I'm currently on a course of antibiotics. And well, if you're a woman, I need say no more. Anyway, today I'm gonna hike uh, a canyon called Desolation Canyon. Uh, one of many beautiful canyons in Death Valley, but what stands out about this one is, it's where they shot some of the scenes in the original Star Wars movie, the very first Star Wars movie. You know, back in the day, A New Hope. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. That Star Wars movie. So I'm gonna hike up this canyon, see if I recognize anything from the movie, and this will give me the chance to hang out with a good friend of mine, Jenny! What up, Jenny? Ah, I'm so excited! This is my friend Jenny. We've known each other for a couple years. You may remember Jenny from a video I did, oh, it was probably two years ago, at the Mojave Megaphone. I oh, this dying cat. Yes, we went and tried an air raid siren at the Mojave Megaphone. Is this weird metal megaphone out in the middle of the desert. We were trying to figure out if it was meant to amplify an air raid siren, and it, it didn't. No. But you might remember her from that video. Uh, it's been a couple years, but hey, Jenny's still around, and now she has her own YouTube channel. I do. What's your channel? Jenny Gives. What do you give? I, I give a lot. She does. She gives a lot. She gives history lessons, <laughs> tours, <laughs> hiking. information, hiking. This is my hike. I'm, I'm so glad Sarah's coming yes. with me. I'm glad you invited me because I've been wanting to do this for a while. This is going to be good. Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. <laughs> Anyways, I'll put a link to Jenny's channel up here and please subscribe to Jenny's please. channel. If you like the desert and hiking, check it out, man. She needs subscribers and we can do this. Anyway, let's start this hike. Okay, so this looks like a pretty straightforward hike. We're just hiking up this canyon. Is that it? We're gonna talk about rocks today. Oh, okay, cool. We're gonna look for gypsum. We're, oh, we're looking for gypsum today. Yeah, gypsum, it'll look like little sleeves of white squished into the, like icing squished between the rocks. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Holy cow, this is amazing. This is a freaking beautiful canyon. If you're into geology, I mean, look at all those different layers of rock different shapes. Oh, this would be cool closer to sunset, probably. The light would be better, but oh well. It's uh, Artist Palette's cousin. Oh, right. Artist Palette's like right near here, isn't it? Right over there. If you've ever been to Death Valley, Artist Palette is one of the top attractions. It's this little loop drive you do through a kind of like, well, topography like this, but it's all these crazy different colors, like orange and yellow and even green and kind of bluish. Really cool place. and. Well, it's not too far from here. But speaking of this canyon, Desolation Canyon, I think this the scene from Star Wars that was shot here. Now, you'll have to go back to the very first Star Wars, okay? Back in the day, if you remember, Luke Skywalker lived on Tatooine, <laughs> the desert planet where his Aunt Beru and Uncle Owen had some kind of weird water farm or dust farm or something. They lived in those weird little igloos. Remember that? There was a scene in that movie where the, the Jawas, they were like those little, um, well, some say they were actually racially charged characters. These little tiny, <laughs> little, little people that wore cloaks. And I guess they were kind of like junk collectors, scavengers. They would like travel around this desert planet collecting all the junk, you know, rusted old metal stuff. Well, they rode on these, uh, big, kind of like woolly mammoth looking creatures called banthas. Big, shaggy, kind of a cross between a woolly mammoth and snuffleupagus from Sesame Street. I am pretty sure that's the scene that was shot right here in this canyon. Imagine that. Imagine you're on a bantha and you're a Jawa. Well, this is where they shot that. Fun fact, when I was doing research for this video, so a lot of the, or most of the footage of Tatooine was shot in Tunisia in Africa, which is a desert country in the north part of Africa. But they needed to do some pickups uh, after the main shooting was done. And well, Death Valley is a lot closer to Hollywood 
than Tunisia. So they just came out here to Death Valley and they shot a bunch of stuff out here, like a bunch of scenes with C-3PO and R2-D2. I think they shot those over at the Mesquite Sand Dunes in Stovepipe Wells, but the Bantha scene was the one that was shot here. Um, some guy just did a whole article, actually. I just read online, some guy came out here from SF Gate or one of those websites and did all the different Star Wars shooting locations in Death Valley, and there's a bunch of them. You can go around and see a bunch of uh, familiar, familiar scenes from Star Wars. But today, well, we're just doing Desolation Canyon, and it's, it is, living up to its name, it's pretty desolate. I mean, there's a few cars in the parking area, but it's nowhere near as crowded as Golden Canyon, which was the turnoff right before this, or Badwater Basin, or Zabriskie Point, or any of the big attractions like Artist Palette. This is a kind of a, well, I guess it's kind of an undiscovered gem. Holy moly, look at this canyon. This is absolutely beautiful. And I know a lot of people watching this are probably like, you call that beautiful? It's just plain brown. But it's not just plain brown. There's like all these different stripes and textures. Look, this is that stripe of white that I think Jenny was talking about. Is this gypsum? Ah, see, I can learn. <laughs> well, they use it for uh, drywall, making drywall. I'm they sure. do? Yeah, and I'm sure it has a bunch of other industrial applications. Look, there's a little freak. Na little nature's little. drywall. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all those beautiful colors on that face up ahead. Pink, I see like kind of pink and greenish, bluish. You know, one thing Jenny just mentioned is there is absolutely nothing at all growing in this canyon. Nothing. Not one weed, not one creosote, not one little sagebrush stalk. Nothing. I mean, this is like the prototypical <laughs> harsh desert landscape that you definitely wouldn't want to get lost in because there is <laughs> nothing to eat. At least we're in the shade here. You know, we're shaded here in this, under this face. But gosh, can you imagine being lost out here? No water, not even a single stalk of grass. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. It's like a little dry lake bed. Yeah, it does. It looks like paver stones. Holy cow, I guess because water kind of pools up in this depression and then it's dried out. That's neat. Okay, we've arrived at the first, I guess, obstacle. It's kind of like a dry waterfall that we have to climb. It doesn't look super hard. Uh, there's like little foot steps kind of carved into the side. I think we can handle it. Okay, Jenny's going first. Let's see how she does. Jenny's the guinea pig. I am. Oh, no, you got this. Jenny, you're half mountain goat. You'll be fine. I do, and I have the fancy uh, shoes. She got good shoes. She's got a sensible hiking attire on. She's not wearing a hiking skirt. <laughs> I am wearing a hiking skirt. <laughs> that being said, I'm going to set my camera up and shoot B-roll of me climbing this dry waterfall. Uh, I'll review the footage when I get home and I'll include it in the video if it's at all appropriate. <laughs> Otherwise, go to my Patreon. <laughs> okay, the canyon's continuing to climb and wind and get even ever more narrower. It's really, really cool formations. It's a fun hike. You know what I mean? Like a little climb here and there, a little winding around. Oh, we got another another dry waterfall ahead. This one doesn't look too bad. It's almost like stairs carved into this rock and the rock's very, it's pretty grippy. It's not super loose. Uh, if you're wearing appropriate footwear, which I am for once in my life, it's no problem at all. Jenny, a plant, look. Oh my God, is this the- Oh my God! <laughs> this is a big deal. Wow, these are yeah. the only these are the only plants that we've seen on the whole hike, but I think this just blew in here. Oh, But no these way. are, no, but look, these are growing out of the ground, D way down here in the shade. Life on Mars. That's cool. I get a lot of, uh, mm, I guess I feel heartened when I see something like that. Like no matter how harsh and inhospitable the environment, where there's a will, there's a way. Something will grow and live if not thrive then at least survive i'm serious you guys jenny is cool 
subscribe to her channel, man. Do a sister a solid. Oh, we both just got really excited because there's some real shrubs. Flowers? Oh, she said there's even flowers. Well, it is spring. Uh huh. They got, it has to have something that would attract. These are different colors that I thought were flowers. Well, I don't I think know. how it's like purple and then. It yeah, it's, it's very blue. pretty. It's such a subtle beauty, but there's a little bit of pink in there. Look at the colors. Ah. Okay, I think we're getting to the end of this hike. It's real steep here at the very end, but it looks like at the top there's going to be some kind of amazing panorama of death valley oh gosh this is getting steep up here I know. Okay. we're almost to the top now jenny jenny's has this little struggle with heights <laughs> so her plan is just oh she wasn't going to turn around and look but she just did well i was going to go all the way to the top oh, damn, okay. well you don't have to okay i'm going all the way to the tippy top the bitter end nothing less than the best will do for wonder Rossi. we're almost there oh, view is gonna be worth it guys oh. okay here's something really cool look <laughs> talk about a bush this one even has flowers on it look how cool is that little tiny bush oh there's even a little lizard moving in the background hey fader <laughs> all kinds of life up here on this barren slope <laughs> man this little bush reminds me of like the desert edelweiss okay we're getting to the top it's a few more feet to go sure would be a bad time to slip and fall right about now uh, woo! i'm on top of the world well sort of this is one of those trails that every time you think you're getting to the top <laughs> well there's just one more top to get to but i think i've climbed high enough uh if i felt keep following this ridge line oh, boy i'll be on top of telescope peak before you know it or i should say dante's peak not telescope peak because i think these are called the black mountains telescope peak which is the highest peak in death valley is over on the other side of badwater basin in the panamint mountains but let me turn this let me turn my camera around and show you this amazing view. It was totally worth hiking up here for. Okay, first things first, shout out to my little hiking skirt. I think it's called Purple Rain Hiking Skirts. Really comfortable, I'm really enjoying hiking in it. Uh, second shout out to my Hoka One One hiking boots, which haven't failed me yet. Now let's look at the view. Holy moly, okay, we'll start over here on the right. You can see some kind of green bushes uh that's going towards stovepipe wells the mesquite sand dunes i think that might be the devil's cornfield not sure about that and then you can maybe see in the distance there's a road that goes through badwater basin you can even kind of see that's the i guess northern reaches of badwater basin i think the lowest point in the western hemisphere is over in that part and then what you can see here right in front of us is really interesting if you look down a little bit closer, you'll see another little road winding through these colorful mountains here in front of us. Well, that's Artist Palette that we were just talking about. See, there's the canyon we just hiked up, Desolation Canyon. And there's Artist Palette. So yeah, Jenny wasn't kidding when she said it was real close. And you can see Artist Palette is a one-way road that just kind of winds through these beautiful, colorful mountains. And it's cool, I've done that drive before, but you know, it's common, it's popular. There's a lot of people on it, depending on the time of day, you get traffic jam and well I'd rather just hike and scramble my way like a mini skirted billy goat up to the top of a mountain and enjoy my view in peace. Whew, all right hiking back down uh, we sat up top and enjoyed the view for a while but it's like four o'clock and gosh I gotta drive all the way back to Vegas tonight and well, I got to drop Jenny off at her place, so don't want to be driving home in the dark. Beautiful day. Great hike. It was a really good hike. Jenny, you're just awesome to hike with. I look forward to doing many more hikes with you in the future. I will send them your way. Yeah. Say, which one do you want to do? Yeah, we'll just do, what do you say? You flip a coin and decide east-west? Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes I flip a coin, but mm -hmm. I, I could, or I flip, uh, I have too many hikes, so then I just 
put them all down and start eliminating by flipping Oh, cards. man. Too many hikes sounds like a quality problem. All right. Well, follow her channel, guys, and yes, I'll see do. you next time.